According to UNACTED's 2020 World Investment Report, foreign direct investment inflows to Somalia reached about 447 million US dollars in 2019, up from 408 million US dollars in 2018. FDI stock amounted to 3.1 billion US dollars in 2019. However, instability in the country remains a major concern. CNBC Africa's Anul Kwizera had a conversation with Mohamed Dubo, the director of Somalia Investment Promotion Office at the Ministry of Planning, Investment and Economic Development. The stand is quite a very um, a significant uh, crossroad where the global financial um, uh, or FDI rather is declining uh, significantly and also the regional ones in terms of Africa uh, foreign direct investment is also on the decline. Um, we share that uh, experience and phenomenon with the rest of the global and the Africa. But uh, the Somali global diaspora seems to be um, uh, filling the void in terms of sending um, uh, investments back home um, uh, thanks to their confidence, which has uh, significantly increased over the last two years. Uh, that itself um, is, is, is a different angle of uh, foreign direct investment coming to Somalia and somehow complementing the existing uh, Middle East, um, uh, Turkey, and, and Eastern um, uh, foreign direct investments flow to Somalia. So we have seen um, a decline, but at the same time, we are not as bad as of the rest of the countries in the region and perhaps in Africa. Yeah, so uh, you're going to put a, a number on it. Uh, we're talking 447 million in 2019, for 408. Um, where could the estimation be at uh, in regards to uh, 2020's inflows? Uh, there is no, there is no um, official statistics that has been undertaken you know, as far as the foreign direct investment uh, flow to Somalia is concerned. Um, we, are, we are making efforts to produce one before the end of the year. We still rely on the $447 million uh, cited earlier. But definitely, we hope uh, the numbers are, could be bigger than that. Um, um, the previous study didn't uh, capture quite well the uh, diaspora investment flow. The Somali global diaspora sent home back um, at least two, close to $2 billion. And a significant ratio of that money sent uh, uh, through the purpose of either capital or investment. So um, the, the survey or the last study just captured the uh, uh, foreign investments in the form of uh, companies uh, well known established in Somalia whose investment has been uh, flowing in the last two or three years at that particular time. So the numbers could be uh, higher. Let's expect the um, efforts we are making uh, the study and it is uh, results to be published before the end of the year. Hopefully that will give us a glimpse of where we stand in terms of data and, and um, foreign direct investment in Somalia. Uh, so Somalia has one of the biggest diaspora communities uh, that ha have been really active in sending back remittances into the country. Uh, this is over the past uh, decade or two, even at the forefront of the whole uh, remittance and mobile money sent back uh, into uh, the continent. Um, that is expected to drop when you look at global world remittance numbers, uh, and they are predicting about a 47% decline uh, with that. How heavy over burden? does that put uh, on uh, your portfolio in diversifying uh, Somalia's uh, FDI attractiveness? Definitely the, uh, the, the, the ongoing pandemic will, will affect somehow, but the Somalia global diaspora has been the backbone and the lifeline of the Somali economy in terms of livelihoods, in terms of supporting families. Over 25 years where there is no um, uh, functionally um, a sound government. Uh, they used to finance a lot of social services, especially hospitals, education sector, uh, so on and so forth. So we, we expect um, a continuation of that as, as much as we will see a drop, but also societal composition um, of the entire Africa and Somalia is a bit different. Somali society is more dependent to one another and they support especially one another in those particular difficult times. So in terms of communal and social composition, we expect um, not a lot of drops, but um, also a continuation of the rates that they used to send back home. Uh, those those $2 billion, of, of course, 
who are coming from um, mainly uh, Europe and, and America, <clears throat> where, where um, the um, pandemic has hit hardly. Um, let's let's be optimistic, and I'm very optimistic that as for the composition of the communal and the societal structure of the Somali people, uh, uh, I don't expect a lot of drop uh, in terms of um, the the volume of money they send back home every kind, every year. So, so what are the options when it comes to uh, diversifying that port portfolio? Um, we have, we have quite a, a number of um, uh, tools at our disposal. Somalia also gets about $2 billion from our development partners um, in the form of humanitarian and emergency fees. Uh, we, have we have been trying to <clears throat> create a mind shift where uh, we move gradually from funding to finance and encourage our development partners <clears throat> to, uh, sorry, to do business with us um, uh, instead of um, just giving us aid, which is not uh, sustainable in the long run as for the economic growth and development that the country will as, uh, aspires to, to, to achieve. So that um, uh, funding from fund finance will definitely um, offset some of our uh, uh, lost grounds. Also, the uh, local production is uh, expected to increase. Uh, we have uh, had a very stable um, uh, climate or weather uh, that will support our agricultural communities, which is the backbone of our country that contributes significantly to our GDP. So we expect um, an increase in our export and also from fund funding to finance mechanism, mind shift, both of them will create likely to, to uh, offset um, our lost grounds in terms of attracting foreign direct investment. And, and quite thirdly, um, there are investors who are very keen despite of the uh, pandemic, especially uh, investors from the um, uh, Eastern Asia uh, the Middle East and particularly Turkey, which has shown a lot of uh, support in terms of solid, um, investing Somalia in solidarity with the with the Somali people and its country and its government. If we talk about uh, investor in, investor attractiveness into Somalia, uh, I have two questions there. Well, uh, why should an investor come to Somalia? What's the attractiveness there at the moment? And two, uh, what particular sectors are you looking at in the short run? to help bridge that gap uh, that is going to be left behind or as a result of uh, the decline in uh, the Somalia diasporas uh, sending back remittances home? Uh, thank you. I think in terms of attractive, uh, attractiveness um, as, a, as an investment destination of site, Somalia has been undertaking a significant um, investment climate reform as far as the uh, regulatory and institutional reforms are concerned. A number of laws, especially the uh, investor protection um, law has been, uh, has been has gone through the cabinet and it's at parliament for a second reading. Hopefully it will be um, uh, enacted soon. Um, also um, a law establishing the investment promotion agency to become a full-fledged um, uh, institution to mandated to attract and uh, and promote uh, foreign direct investment into Somalia is also at Parliament <laughs> waiting for enactment. Uh, we have recently developed a um, national investment promotion strategy which guides our uh, investment promotion and, and policies in the short and medium term. Uh, it's a five-year strategic plan. Sort of, uh, it outlines a number of um, um, uh, sectors to, to answer your second question. And the top five are the three productive sectors uh, that is fisheries, agriculture, uh, which is farming and livestock. Those are th the three main uh, productive sectors in Somalia which contribute heavily to our GDP. We need to see more investments going into that in order to increase our production and export in the long run. Uh, two enabling sectors which are energy sector, uh, particularly the re renewable energy and also the financial and banking sector. Th those are the five top priorities but also the strategy offers another five, which are um, uh, somehow less uh, top priority, but also need, needs a focus. Uh, Mohamed, there's still some challenges. Um, one of those being the security issue uh, in the country. That, without a doubt, uh, pushes uh, investors away. Where do we stand with that? And why should I be uh, confident that if I'm to put my money uh, into Mogadishu, 
uh, my investment will be secure. Um, uh, thanks. I think security is, is a major challenge around the world, but it's not only a unique situation or experience for Somalia. And to take you through back to the recent World Bank um, uh, investment attractiveness survey, I think security was the last, uh, was the 20th um, point to be uh, cited by investors as a, cons as a major concern. There are a number of other critical issues that investors look before they come to the security element. Um, the, 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 the issues of laws, protection uh, against misappropriation, or uh, uh, um, um, protection of physical and property, uh, personal and property. And also um, uh, incentiveness, um, uh, the level of incentives that the government offers, as well as the markets. Um, Somalia is, is, is situated in a very strategic position. And we have seen a lot of investments uh, growth in the northern side of Somalia, Somaliland, Puntland, where there is um, uh, relatively um, uh, a reliable and, and, and good uh, security infrastructure. We hope the southern part will also attract because we have the main uh, uh, port city of Mogadishu. A lot of infrastructure connecting the country, uh, the country to uh, Ethiopia is ongoing. Uh, we are to conclude 45 kilometers um, road uh, connecting to the agricultural rich uh, areas of um, Lower Shabella and ultimately move uh, that road to the Ethiopian border. We expect a lot. Um, security is also being uh, reformed and it's being worked. Uh, we have a political transition and hopefully after this political transition, uh, the momentum will be uh, regained. Um, uh, but uh, we, are, we are building the internal capacities of attracting investors in terms of regulatory, in terms of institutional, so that uh, we also support um, the, the, the other strategies that we support the existing investors uh, by providing them a lot of visits, uh, by providing them uh, so support and solutions to their problems and challenges. That would also ex uh, uh, definitely lead to uh, their investment expansion and diversification within the country. But in the long run, we are not, we are not um, um, uh, that bad. Uh, the, the security has been the lens which uh, many people look at when it comes to Somalia, but there are other reforms ongoing which guarantees investors to, to, to come and invest uh, Somalia has also recently joined the MIGA program, a multilateral uh, 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 agency for, uh, for uh, uh, um, investment insurance and, and political risk. Those are, those are the things that we have putting in place, uh, putting our house in order before we receive a lot of uh, foreign investment inflow. Um, uh, definitely after this uh, political transition, we expect the momentum to be to be higher and uh, our capacity to serve that kind of volume of uh, foreign investment is also in place that's the good thing uh Mama, do, do you think uh the cur current political climate especially with upcoming elections uh in the country uh could have an effect uh on that investor confidence honestly speaking this is this is a phenomenon every, every everywhere you go every country you go um, uh, prior six months to the election, investors slow down, see the transition and, and how uh, uh, power shifts or, 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 or retain. Uh, peaceful elections are very um, a good indicator for, uh, for investor attractiveness in any particular country. Uh, that's what you expect. Um, the transition will be uh, most likely uh, smooth and uh, peaceful elections will take place. Um, Somali leaders are in Mogadishu discussing uh, how to finalize the um, election agreements and, 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 and also provide an overview strategic leadership on where uh, the election should be moving. We have so we will have soon a timetable where the election will be held. We are very confident that um, so as for the Somalia's historic power, um, uh, peaceful power transfer and elections, uh, this election will be as peaceful as the previous ones.